importing Excel into OPS. From the home page, at the bottom of the page, there's a template, MSX Excel import template. Open that, and you'll get a file like this. It has two tabs. There's a small import tab, and also a full import. It has more attributes. We'll start with this one. The minimum information you need is a floor number, and a space name, and an area. Either a total area or an actual dimension. I'm going to use metric for this one, 8 by 15 meters for a lobby. And another element on the ground floor might be a um, elevator floor. we we'll make that one 6 by 9 and maybe a restaurant make that 15 by 30 and some offices make that 16 by 40 other optional information is department ID, which would color code the departments based on the type of view. So I'll just use one for a lobby, two for elevator, three for restaurant, four for offices. I can also create a second floor by putting in a two, and let's put some offices on the second floor as well. Use the same size and the same attributes for department. And let's put an elevator core on the second floor as well. second floor elevator core department. The other optional piece of information would be vertical alignment. In other words, if we want the elevator cores to align to each other, we'll put a one next to each of those. And put another set of offices on the second floor. So we have a basic program here that includes two floors, offices, and an elevator core. Save this out as a CSV file from Microsoft Excel, comma separated value, save it on the desktop, and call this simple office, and save that to the desktop. Select OK. It's warning that it's going away from Microsoft Excel format. And then let's go back into OPS and go to a site plan. This is a blank site with no buildings. And select Import. You must be in edit mode, so you must own this scheme or it must be a teamwork scheme. We're going to import an Excel and it says creates new building. So this is a, a brand new building. With a simple office right there. Open that up and import it. Building one, let's import that. And let's see what it looks like on the site. It's importing the Excel file, creating a building off to the side. Let's move it on the site and open up the building itself. see that it has spaces, and the spaces are color-coded based on the department IDs that we put in. And we can move these spaces around, including the elevator core, which is number two here. If we move this elevator core on the second floor, it will actually be in alignment. space over on the second floor to make space for the elevator.